Hi everyone! Okay, so I'm just doing my makeup before work right now. You'll never guess what I found in the 7-Eleven Konbini the other day. It's a Tamagotchi Lip and Cheek Cream. So you can use this for blush as well as a lip color. Look at how crazy this design is. Tamagotchi is experiencing a revival right now. I don't know if you guys know, but they released like some new ones. I saw an ad in Shinjuku station once. Anyway, I never um, I never personally owned a Tamagotchi actually, but I remember I used to play with my friends who was my neighbor back in the day, but this is what it looks like. Oh my goodness. It even has like the raised buttons sticking out. Does this have a shade name? Yes, it does. It's called Shodai Pink first generation pink, which is so perfect actually. There were several designs I saw in the kombini, so I don't know, maybe if it's good, I'll go back for another one. But I just chose, ooh, sorry. But this is what it looks like on the inside. I just chose like a classic pinkish red color. I thought it was gonna be more red actually. And let's do a finger swatch first. Ooh, interesting. This reminds me of like those color changing blushes this is not a color change formula but you know how they always turn into basically this color <laughs> okay i'm just gonna do like this actually wait let me go find my puff look at this tiny little puff from flower nose super cute okay why is this actually like really really good at first when i swatched it i thought it was slightly a little bit on the oily side um normally i wouldn't care but in summer like humid summer in japan in particular i prefer something that has more of a matte finish when you blend it out though it's less noticeable and it doesn't feel like super heavy just make sure that you don't apply too much i think i have too much on my right side actually give me one second okay i think that actually looks really nice i would want to try maybe a different color this red is kind of cool toned but yeah i wasn't expecting it to be so nice formula wise usually with these character or ip collaborations well actually no usually the japanese ones are pretty legit like this is yeah this is made by a company called Crea boat they do a lot of these kind of one-off like ip collaborations sailor moon makeup that kind of thing they've done a lot of collections over the years okay and i don't have a lip brush so let me just use my fingers put this on my lips oh last thought about the blush though i like how it has that half translucent feel to it um this is kind of this is kind of giving like honestly a less patchy version of my rare beauty blush so i'm talking about this one it's in the shade grateful actually let me do a side by side so this one is the tamagotchi and this one is rare beauty obviously they are very different shades yeah you can't really tell with a hand swatch but this the rare beauty sometimes i do have issues with patchiness slight patchiness when i'm trying to blend it out on my actual cheeks i don't know if that has more to do with the shade than the formula but um yeah i guess the fact that this is a cream formula as opposed to a liquid makes sense that it's easier to achieve a more even blend with this one but yeah let's go ahead and apply to my lips now Ooh, okay that is a very that is translating very pink as a lip color almost like barbie pink that's so interesting it looks like it's a completely different shade on my cheeks as opposed to my lips but yeah i'm not sure that i love this as a lip formula might just be the color it's kind of giving me like pepto-bismol pink but the formula too i just feel like it's definitely better off as a blush than a lip color but not bad for if you need something in a pinch or if you're just trying to consolidate your makeup bag and yeah that's it really cute right tamagotchi lip and cheek cream okay now i'm feeling the compulsion to like feed this thing but it's not a real tamagotchi so i can't he's sleeping though so it's fine 